Welcome to Sybil. This is a short game where you play as a young woman who plays with a guy in an MMO and starts to build a romantic relationship with him. It's based on something that actually happened to the creator, Nina Freeman. So it's one of those really deeply personal games, which I don't see that much of, so I think that's really interesting when a game is so personal. As always, if you'd like to play this game for yourself, you'll find some links in the description. Okay, let's begin. So here we've started. She's just logged into her computer. With, of course, the Sailor Moon background. <laughs> oh, the background's so cute. And, uh... Yeah, it seems like most of the game, if not the entirety of the game, is played through this kind of virtual computer. You're playing through her computer and you can access her folders and her images and her email and stuff like that. And you actually get to play the fictionalized version of the MMO that she played. You get to play the MMO with uh, the guy that she met and talk over voice comms and stuff like that, as you'll get to see in just a little bit. So before I get too deeply into the game, I just want to mention one thing off the bat. And that's that this is kind of an awkward game to do a Let's Play of, because I think it's really the sort of game that's better played than watched. And probably the biggest reason for that is that there's lots of there's lots of moments where, um, where Nina and the person that she's building a relationship with. Uh, there's lots of moments where they're talking over voice comms while playing the MMO, and you're also kind of reading emails at the same time, and there's a lot of multitasking. So there's going to be a lot of things that I can't really read aloud because I would just be interrupting the voices. So it, it makes for the commentary being really awkward sometimes. So there's going to be moments where I just don't commentate very much, and that's really the best I can do. It'll be a little bit awkward. But this game is, is so interesting that I really do want to do a Let's Play of it, even if it's not the best game for that sort of format. But uh, before we log into the fictional MMO, let's be little voyeurs and take a look around our computer. I love doing stuff like this. Whether it's an adventure game and you're taking a look around someone's house, or if it's a game like this and you're just taking a look in someone's computer... The stuff you find in people's homes or computers or anywhere, really, tells you so much about them. It's so cool. So yeah, let's take a look around. Website. Mel's fan art. <laughs> Whacking some monsters. Looks like that building's on fire or something. Storming a castle. Brit's fan art. Oh, look at that Final Fantasy sword. So big, I don't even think you could pick it up. Probably weighs like a hundred pounds. One thing that does drive me crazy about this... I've played this game for a little bit before actually recording this, just to make sure it works, and one thing that drove me a little bit crazy is that you can't move the windows. So when you open up images like this, you can't, you can't move them. And that just drives me nuts. I want to move them so bad. I want to put them all over the desktop and stuff. Uh, oh well. Blog bio hiatus. Yes, I guess this is for Nina's website. Or blog or something like that. I'm simply a girl trying to find her way in a world of complications. Just a little info, even though you probably don't care. Haha. <laughs> uh, I know that feeling. The, f the feeling that you have to include something to kind of defend yourself. You know, like you have to... Like, you have to justify the reason why you're actually giving information about yourself. Like, here's all about me, but I know it doesn't really matter, and nobody's going to read this, and I feel super self-conscious. Uh, I know that feeling. Nina. 19 soon. Favorite color, blue? Oh, that's my favorite color, too. Bubbly. New York. Update. Sorry for barely posting anymore. I've been so busy now that I started college... I hope that I can start updating this again once my homework load settles down. I've also been super distracted by Vault Mary, as usual. <laughs> anyway, I'm on hiatus for now. 
and be back soon. Oh, that's another thing I love. An update on your bio or your blog or whatever about how you can't post as much anymore, busy with schoolwork and stuff like that, or busy with a job. You see that all over the internet, when you find people's personal blogs and stuff like that, and you know, it's hard to keep motivation, and a lot of people don't have that much time, and so often you just see, you know, there's one post like two years ago, person saying, ah, oh, sorry, I can't update anymore. And then ever since then, just radio silence. It's always kind of fascinating. I always think, what happened to that person, you know? Oh, and by the way, the, uh, Voltimary, that's the name of the fictional MMO that you play in. And Voltimary is actually a Finnish word that means ocean. Blog fan art. Hi, hi. I know I haven't been posting much. I'm in my last year of high school, so things have been pretty busy. I think I'm going to get pretty good grades, though, so that's good. I'm in an awesome independent study with Mrs. Faust. I'm reading Madame Bovary and Anna Kenna, um, Anna Karinina? Karin... What? Why can't I read that? Karinina? Karinina? That doesn't sound right. Uh, anyway, with her, they're such good books. Anyways, I wanted to post because Mel and Britt sent me some of their old fan art. I'm going to post it on this site, as I can scan it, I think. I also have a lot of old sketchbooks, so maybe I'll go through those soon, too, and post my old stuff. It's a lot of Sailor Moon and Final Fantasy fan art, of course. I kind of miss drawing fan art and writing fan fiction. That's it for now. Hopefully I'll start updating the site more soon. Ta-ta, Nina. <laughs> the folder old website. Poorly organized folders. That's not only something I used to do when I was younger, it's something I still do as an adult. <laughs> Blog background. Oh, that's almost sickeningly cute. Pixelate your life. Archive profile. Clothes, blue starry pajamas. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, favorite book, Holes. I remember reading Holes when I was a kid. I remember really liking it. I just remember... I don't remember much about the book, to be honest. I remember Holes. And I remember Onions. Something about Onions. Uh, anyway... Feeling sad, aww. Welcome to my personal site, lostmemories.net. So, about me. I'm a girl, and I'm 13. Oh, wow, 13. This was a long time ago. My name is Nina, and I'm from the USA. I love doing web design and watching animes. Um, you could say I'm nice, intelligent, a dreamer, and sometimes I think I can be too nice, but, you know. I'm blonde with blue-green, I think they look gray, eyes, and I guess that's all I have to say. Let's look at some of the old posts. Ah, another boring day. Well, not that boring, once I think about it. Okay, the funny thing today. My friend wanted to send a little hi note to this kid who kept looking at us, and my friend asked this guy who was sitting near him to give him the note, and he couldn't hear the name, so he kept saying who, and these random names, and me and my friend were cracking up, but then he finally got the name, and my face was red because I laughed so hard, and I was really hot, and my friend kept bugging me that I was blushing. It was funny, but then again, annoying. Also at lunch, I thought I took a corn muffin, but it was a blueberry muffin. With no blueberries. Okay, well, I gotta do my homework. Ta-ta. Oh my god. Oh. Kids. That's also the sort of thing I probably would write if I was that young. <laughs> oh, some of this stuff is so, like, adorably cringeworthy. You know, not cringeworthy in, like, an other sort of way, but cringeworthy in the sort of way where it's like, yeah, I probably would have done, if not did do, the same sort of thing. 
Okay, this entry is to get all of these problems I've been having off my back. Just to let you know. I've been hanging out with this friend a lot, and you see, she's really pretty. Skinny and a cheerleader. She went to water country yesterday, and let's just say that a lot of boys were flirting with her. We were at a stand there, and she said to me, I really want that hat. And this guy, uh, manning one of the games, was wearing the hat she was talking about, so he says, Oh, she must like me. Then gives her the hat. So, this made me a bit sad. You see, I've always had bad luck with guys, and I don't think I'm very pretty. So I don't get flirted with flirted with very much. But my friend does a lot, and of course, I envy her. I, I don't want to say jealous, since that would make me sound really bad. She even has all of these guys who really like her, and all that, and it makes me think about how hopeless and alone I am in life. I've never had a boyfriend, when almost all of my other friends have. My, my parents don't have enough time to care about me, and now I have no friends. Like, friends that I would sit with at lunch, but this one girl. <sighs> well, I'm off to watch TV. I'm tired from getting so stressed. Bye-bye. Oh my god, I finally got Final Fantasy... Wait, Final Fantasy 2? Or FX? What? I don't know what that is. Is that a Final Fantasy or is that something else? Final Fantasy... 12? I don't know. It's so awesome. The new battle system is great, and I like how it's really light and funny, both the music and how the story is starting out. Me, Mal, and Brit all went to the mall to get it, and on the flyer it said FFX2 is coming out on the 19th, so I think some people will go buy it tomorrow, too. We got it, and they had a normal guide and a special edition guide, which was $30. They even gave us a free poster of Yuna, Riku, and Pain, and it's on the wall right next to my TV where I play FFX2. Later I went to their house, and we played it, and that was fun. I've been working on a blinky for my name to use as a signature at the end of each blog entry, you know? Are my blog entries boring? Because Butterfly Wishes Reviews said that my blog entries could use more emotion. I don't like to always write about all the kind of stuff, all that kind of stuff, because what if someone in my school came and saw something that hurt their feelings or got them mad? I don't want that to happen. Well, gotta go now. Sorry, I've been so too busy to blog these past couple days. Friday I did... Uh, I forgot. Saturday, Val slept over, and Sunday I felt sick and just played FFX2 all day. The sleepover was awful. I felt so bad for Val. One, my PS2 broke, and two, my parents got into a big argument. I don't know how many times I apologized to her. I was so mad at my parents, I was shaking. Oh yeah, but later I did fix my PS2. I got so worried. I had, like, no emotional expressions on my face. I was so devastated. The reason I was so devastated was because I don't have a DVD player, so all my expensive DVD sets would go to waste. And also, I just spent a lot on getting my FFX2. I was wicked happy when it was fixed, though. I think the reason I got sick on Sunday was because on Saturday I was so stressed out. Today, I went over Mel and Brits, and we played some FFX2, then we watched Star Wars Episode 2. We got so hyper. We were jumping everywhere. On the couch, on each other, etc. It was very funny. Oh, I can't wait till Thanksgiving. All the food will be so good. Well, I need to go do my homework now, so ta-ta. Isn't it funny how the information you thought was kind of... I don't know, I guess important to share? I mean, all these little details, like, I think most adults wouldn't even think about going into this much detail about little stuff. Just in a, in a public blog, you know? About all the tiny stuff that happened. Like, blogging about every little tiny thing. It just, I don't know, it feels kind of pointless, but as a kid, I just remember talking about that stuff as if it was, like, the most important thing in the world. All the little stuff. It's strange. I wonder when that changes, that, that perception of what is important information. Is it a good thing that people usually stop talking about that stuff kind of publicly and that sort of stuff only gets told to friends? 
or just doesn't seem as important to say anymore. Is it a good thing that that goes away? I really don't know. Yesterday I had like no homework, and that was nice. Then I had to go to the orthodontist, and he said next appointment I get my braces off. I've been waiting so long for this, and I can wait a little longer. Then I played FFX2 and saw Gipple again. <laughs> he said, Yeah, me and Riku make quite the couple. And Riku totally freaked out. It was hilarious. But now I'm thinking that something went on between them in the past. Because one, Pain pointed out how defensive Riku was acting towards this. And Riku was trying to convince Yuni, lol, that he was lying. Ah, gotta go get the bus now. So that's a blog from when she was around 13 years old. Okay, I've already looked at these, right? Yes. So I've looked at her new website and her old website. Check out miscellaneous. Let's look at some pictures. I've had enough reading for now. This stuff is so poorly sorted. Just a couple of random pictures. First day. Oh, first day of what? Home. Ah, oh, pictures of home. Ah, oh, beautiful clouds. God rays are so beautiful. I think God rays is like a game term, isn't it? It's kind of weird sounding. Uh, light shafts? Sun rays? Let's go with sun rays. Oh my god. That's seriously such a wonderful, colorful photo. Look at the greens and the blues and everything. Looks like the perfect day. Kawaii.txt Kawaii has perished, press spacebar to continue. The party's over, press spacebar to continue. Seriously, get out. I don't know what the heck that is. Heaven is a place on... Habo Hotel, but not on Earth. Heaven is definitely not on the bus. It's not in Philly, and it's not in the Matrix. I'd rather go to the Matrix than Heaven anyways. Is that a haiku? Party poem. We arrive, and I kick the empty Budweiser cans off the steps. They clatter and settle. Around the fire hydrant spewing street water. Patrick opens the front door. The noise is sticky. We go up to the roof and lean over the edge, about to fall. I drink most of Rob's ginger ale, due to a three-day run of alcohol-induced dehydration, during which I nearly whited out on the J-train. There was a cold sweat, and it was like somebody turned the volume down. Angry northern lights swam in my vision, blurring the MTA don't slip sign. I leaned against a pole. Everything was too loud. By the way, I should also mention I don't know how to read poetry. I don't know if there's like a special cadence or you know, like a special way to read it, some sort of rhythm or something. I really don't know. Chat log. Becca, what ended up happening last night? You never texted me after like 1 a.m.? Oh, jeez. I went home with that 23-year-old blonde guy from Linear Algebra. <laughs> wow. Ichi is 23, too. Oh, that Voltamary guy? Huh. I thought he was our age. Nah. Did you have sex? Obviously. It was so awkward, though. I bit the inside of my cheek while we were on his couch eating some snacks, and I was like, ow. And he was like, what's wrong? And I said I hurt my mouth. Then he said, 
want me to make it feel better? And I was like, what? In my head? But obviously in real life I said something dumb. I forget. But like, could you be more obvious? Then he kissed me. Oh my god, amazing. What was the sex like? I'm so jealous. I want to have sex too. Don't tell me you haven't had sex before. I have not. We have to talk about this. I have class now, though. I'll come to your dorm after. Yes, talk to her about the fact that she hasn't had sex yet. F fix her, she's, she's broken. You can't be a virgin, it's impossible, it's wrong. No, seriously. If anyone out there hasn't had sex yet, don't worry about it. No matter how old you are, don't worry about it. It's okay. You shouldn't feel any pressure to have sex. It, it's fine. It's just not that big of a deal. Wait until you're with somebody that you feel comfortable having sex with and don't feel pressure to have sex. Are you free on the 20th? I'm throwing a party. Hey, are you there? Can you come to my party? Uh, sorry. I was playing a game. Voltamari, I assume? Yep. So, party? Want to come and help me set up? I can't that night. Sorry. Why? A new Voltamary stage is coming out. I know, I suck. Leave your room for once, Nina. Jesus Christ. <laughs> addicted to an MMO. I was pretty much addicted to an MMO when I was young. I know the feeling. I remember there was a point where I literally basically only played an MMO all day. Like, literally almost all day every day. That was not healthy. Nina, okay, I looked at the Ichi guy's picture and he's pretty hot. I get it now. I know. It's super weird because we've known each other for a while, but only just started talking a lot recently. Then he sent me that picture and I was like, what, you're hot? I didn't tell him that though, I'm too shy. But wow, he's so cute, I'm dying. Are you still talking to him a lot? Yeah, we've even been doing runs in Voltamary alone. Usually he goes with a big group, so I'm pretty surprised he wants to hang out, hang out with just me. Aw, that's cute. I know. Ah, uh, it's good. <laughs> this game's adorable. Just... All, all of her... Like, I get pretty much everything that's happening here. Just all this stuff when you're younger, playing MMOs, meeting people online. The stuff you talked about as a kid, the stuff that seemed important. I just keep thinking back to my own childhood. And it makes me kind of embarrassed to, to think back. But it's also kind of adorable. Okay, is that everything for this folder? I think so. Right? Home, pictures, pictures, yes, yeah, okay. Was that miscellaneous? Yeah, so we've looked at website and miscellaneous. Now there's selfies, poetry homework, a couple other things. Yeah, the more I play this game, the more I realize this is going to be so slow. I'm guessing a lot of people aren't going to uh, find this very interesting as a playthrough, but still, this game is... It's something I don't... This sort of game is something I've really just never seen before. I think it's really interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this a playthrough. Even if it doesn't make for the best playthrough. Still. Selfies for Ichi. It's the guy that she ends up dating. Oh, that's a cute scarf. Mom and me. Our mom looks like she's wearing tons of like eyeshadow or eyeliner or something in that picture <laughs> it's like almost like it's just glowing as if it emits its own light that hair it's so bright high school photos oh god I do not want to look at pictures that I took of myself in high school. Hell no. <laughs> I 
barely even have pictures of myself from when I was in high school, now that I think about it. But the ones I do have, I don't want to look at. You know, some people look fine when they were younger. Other people don't. I'm one of those people who d who just doesn't. Like, I just looked honestly really crappy when I was young. I'm just not happy with how I looked. Poetry homework. Sea Salt Gazelle. A blue canoe on cedar view that I haven't seen in years. In June we can eat marsh grass and capsize besides the sunfish. The river is broken by trees in a flood. Black surface punctured by the leaves and sky. Swipe it. See how the water spreads like capillaries. A river view is beside river view, where they sell the best pizza anywhere. And Christine will ring us up and not recognize me again. I sped up Argilla Road, blasting music until my speakers broke in 10th grade. It won't matter with apple cider donuts in our mouths today. The beach is a self-conscious panorama of pitch pines, sand dunes, and an entry fee. I'll take you in for free if you promise to find me a single slice of sea glass. There are two high tides and we'll stay for both if you swim out to the sandbar. Nearby there are rows of buoys, atlas points within our reach. For every handful of purple sand you find, for every sand dollar, you'll take another dip. Maybe you'll find a sea skate or a mermaid's purse. No one makes it to the edge of the beach, but we will. The periwinkle coast, edged by shelves of barnacles, water's prism, a secret estuary. I probably did a terrible job reading that. I'm so sorry. I feel like this, uh, my playthrough of this game is just going to turn into almost like an ASMR whispering kind of thing. I've been so calm and subdued and it seems to fit the game so well. Let's keep that up. Recent photo post. Ah, me at my first computer. I can't believe I found this picture. <laughs> so, I guess these are probably actual photos of Nina as a, as a child. That does feel so deeply personal, doesn't it? Putting your own, like, childhood and high school photos in a game. Oh, another folder. Some friends, I guess. B-Day invite. It's my birthday. March 15th, 2009. I will be turning 19. Please join me for Pokeball-shaped cupcakes and friendship. Where? The lounge at Step Dorms on Fulton Street. When? 9 p.m. Intel. Okay, see you there. Bye. Ah, oh, that's our friend Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Oh god, that's that... that... tea stuff that has the big, like... starchy globules in the bottom. Bubble tea or whatever it's called. I gotta admit, I hate that stuff with a passion. It's the texture of those like starchy balls that I just cannot stand. It's so slimy and it honestly literally makes me want to vomit when I just think about it. I tried it once. I tried putting one of those little balls in my mouth once and I hated it so much it made me almost want to throw up and I had to spit it out. It was so nasty. Ugh. That's a lot of apartments. Mom apartment, 1991. Pretty.png Ichi! How's it going? I guess that's probably the picture that was sent to her? The one that made her think, oh my god, this guy's so hot? It's probably the one. Bet 
Becca. Last night. Hey, Nina. I saw Todd and Mal making out at the party that you skipped last night. I know you like that online game guy, but come on, stop skipping parties for him. Please come out with me tonight so that we can address this new development in our totally fucked up friend group. I can't believe they made out. Okay, I think that's it for everything on her desktop and her email and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and log into the into Valtimary. So we're literally playing a game within a game. Sybil on server, Medusa. Incoming call from Ichi. Okay, yeah, so this is where things are going to get a little bit awkward, because there's going to be a lot of back-and-forth conversation between Nina and Ichi. So I'm not going to read out very much stuff, probably. I'm going to go a little bit silent here, because I don't want to interrupt them. But yeah, suffice to say, this is a, a fictional MMO that you get to play in, and it's it's super, super simplistic. Really, there's almost no gameplay to the, to the MMO part. You basically just, like, click on an enemy, and that's about it. It's just... Really, the MMO is just a backdrop to the conversation that's happening. So keep that in mind. Hey, what's up? Let's just private chat. I'm sick of all these fuckers in the main channel. <laughs> yeah, everyone's pretty rowdy today. They're all spazzing because Bulldog Hell is coming out tonight. They're gonna go line up at whatever store, which fucking sucks because now we can't do anything serious tonight. Uh, yeah... And there he is. So the basic way that this works is you just help him out. You can see there's this little, uh, like, hand-share-friendly thing up here in the top right. And basically the meter fills up if you help uh, Ichi defeat the enemies. And as you help him defeat the enemies, that kind of progresses the conversation that you have with him. And that's about all there is to it. Uh, but before I actually start the conversation, I guess let's take a look at our messages. So I've just got some messages in the MMO between people. Sibby, we should talk on the phone sometime. Oh? Yeah, let's catch up. Can reply. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. And then later on there'll be a reply back, but I gotta wait for them to actually reply to it first, of course. Hey girl, how are things? <laughs> really? Hey girl. I've been pretty busy. Ampula's been doing a lot lately. Everyone bowing to Itchy's whip, as usual, I see. Oh my god, Guyver, stop. Are you seriously defending him? He is an ass. So this guy doesn't like Ichi. He's nice to me. Sib, want to do a Uriel run with me on Friday? Okay. See you then, girl. Ichi usually comes, but let's go just us. Girl's night out. Yes, I have so much I want to talk about with you. Where are you at? Uh, hey, sorry, duoing with Ichi now. Oh my god, you're always with Ichi, come on. Sorry, let's hang tomorrow, maybe? I want to hang now. Can I meet you after in Hisi or something? Uh, maybe, I'll let you know what Ichi and I end up doing. Oh, looks like I got a reply. Oh, something happened. I just need your opinion on someone, uh, you know. And we have little emoticons or whatever this is, set your mood or something. Happy, sad, angry. Let's be happy. Should always be happy. I hope you're happy right now, viewer. I'm gonna continue talking in my super smooth voice. I hope you're happy. Oh, we have another message. Oh my god, who is it? Guile? Ichi? <laughs> Shh, 
We'll talk on Friday. Any new posts? No, that's the same one. New email? No. Okay, so let's start helping Ichi. Hi, hi. Are you going to the Bulldog Hell release tonight? I don't want to go alone. By the way, aren't you turning 19 in like a few weeks? When are we planning the party? What's Bulldog Hell? Bulldog Hell. Time to give them hell. Again. Coming soon. Pre-order now. Contains violence, language, blood, and robots. Must have been the robots part that got it an 18 plus. Without that, it would have been an 18 minus rating. Are you coming? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Guess you don't want to go out and waste your money on bullshit hell tonight. <laughs> Very funny. I barely even play other games anymore, honestly. Me neither. They're all crap anyways. It makes me kind of sad though. I like playing through good story games. They all have expiration dates. You, you play for 60 hours and that's it. At least with this game, you can play it for a long time without worrying that you'll have to find some new shit to buy. Yeah, I mean, the time you get out of an online game like this is a lot more. And you get to meet people. Yeah, I don't like most of the people I meet in here though. Except for like, you and a few others. I just like running shit, like making people get organized for some fight or whatever. The big battles where everything's dependent on your ability to find the right guys to do the job. That's what I like. Ooh, big boss. The new post. Oh, that's Ichi. You've been leading this ampule since it started, right? No, some other dude was, but he quit. And he was crap anyways. We didn't become good until I whipped everyone's ass into shape. People really do listen to you. It's kind of amazing. I'm just really straightforward. Like, if people don't listen to me and then they fuck up, I make sure that they know they fucked up. You gotta get in people's faces. That's why they respect me. <laughs> I'm glad I haven't messed up that bad yet. Never gonna yell at you. Uh, but still, don't be an idiot. Uh, you, you okay, Ichi? Wouldn't yell at me? No. Really? I'm not gonna yell at a cute girl. <laughs> I'm not cute. <laughs> I don't think I am. But that's really nice of you. Hey, I know what you look like. You posted a picture of yourself on the forums. I mean... I know. That's a pretty flattering photo, though. You should send me a different picture. And then I can really decide if I think you're cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Seems like the game bugged out, and Ichi just kept, like, attacking an enemy off screen, so I had to restart the game. But I think we're back to right about where we were before. Nice hit. Kind of surprised. Won't your girlfriend get mad? Oh, new post. Nice move. <laughs> nice blurry photo from Drive Cars Fast. I'm so not photogenic. You definitely are. I'm not photogenic. I look like a fucking ghost. <laughs> I thought you looked really nice in that photo you posted. You don't have to lie. I'll still like you even if you admit that I look like a ghost. <laughs> no. Yes, come on. Have you seen Guile? He's like a fucking bodybuilder. <laughs> 
Yeah. Coming to New York City. Sib, you live in New York City, right? I'm gonna be there for a soccer game. Wanna meet up? Guile. I don't know. He's like attractive, but not really my type, you know? I don't know. Dude's got perks. <laughs> Ew. I like when guys are more lean. Skinny dudes? I guess I've been that for a while. <laughs> I guess so. What do you like? About girls? Yeah. Uh, I like, uh, curvy, skinny girls. Not like fat girls. I, I just like them when they're not real thin, you know? Girls gotta have some meat. <laughs> hmm. I wish I was skinnier. No way, you lose your boobs. <laughs> Uh, I guess so? Seriously, you have to know that you've got a nice rack. Come on. <laughs> I mean, people have told me that before, but... As they should. <laughs> oh, don't know how to take a compliment. <laughs> I really don't. I'm gonna just have to keep giving you compliments until you get used to it. <laughs> That'd be completely impossible, honestly. But you can give it a shot. Done. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> this is the silliest. What are we even doing right now? Being friends and whacking stuff online. <laughs> about that picture. Yeah. Yeah, I can send you one if you want. I'll have to take it first, though. Okay. This one's new, right? what to wear when I take pictures of myself though. I get so self-conscious. You can literally wear anything and I'll still probably like the picture. <laughs> really? I mean not anything. Seriously. Okay. That last one was just of me standing there so maybe I'll take more of a close-up this time? Yes please. Nice 
Maybe I'll finally get the boss this time. So here we are two months later. So I guess what we've just seen is the beginning of their relationship. I guess they were kind of in the same guild or something like that uh, before, but they just recently started hanging out more and kind of grouping together instead of in big raids. So I guess that was the, the period when they were really getting to know each other and obviously they found each other attractive. He liked her, she liked him, started sending each other pictures and as we just saw, even got to the point where Oh my god, the relationship went to sexy selfie stage. That's when you know it's getting serious. <laughs> so, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to see what's happened with their relationship in two months. <laughs>